our first Let's Play. This Let's Play has been inspired by two, well actually three, LPers and some other LPers that have contributed to it that haven't played this game. Well, I'm not sure if they have played on the free time, but, you know, haven't recorded it. But, um, Derek Q presents... That's it, folks. Spelunky. A new game. Indeed. Made by Derek Yu, like I already said before. Uh, check out my scores real quick. No, that's not, because I already beaten this game. Um, but I will be starting over this game. Like so. Wait, what are you doing? Taking 10, you're freaking crazy! Yes, folks, you just saw that right. You might as well just capture that screen right now because every piece of work that I just did has been cleared out for you. Yes, this room and this room is locked, but now you'll never know what they are. I'm kind of just that evil. But anyways, now that I have it quiet, I want to say some things. Um, Durden and Durden 77 and Cypheron 48 have inspired me quite a bit to making this. Um, Kikaskia and Corona have also, uh, motivated me to play LP, and some other LPers that are not well too known, but are very funny to check out, uh, like Kashmir, and, um, oh gosh, I can't think of one other, but I'll, I'll put his, uh, I'll put his name on the tag on the right. But anyways, this game is very much so very <laughs> unforgiving. Very, very unforgiving. And you'll see why. With many deaths to begin with, let's not start the game and ruin it for your folks. Uh, oh, please, just kill me. That's something that you never hear me say. <laughs> oh, please kill me! No! Okay. Tutorial. Welcome to Tutorial Cave. This might be your first time playing. Press C to jump. You can alter the way you, you know, lay out your key defaults. But anyways, you can hang off less as chew. Press X to use your whip. You can also jump to kill your enemies. Depends on what kind of enemies. Main point of the game is collecting treasure, and you'll be doing this a lot. Money in this game is very, very important in not only uh, gaining to new areas, well, not really gaining to new areas, but getting an easier hint, hint, access, hint, hint to areas, um, and also purchasing some items. Um, collect the treasure, as that thing said. Uh, hold down to duck and crawl. Okay, enough of that. Hold up to climb up the ladder. And that chest, hold up and press X to open up chests. Same with boxes. Crawl over the edge to do a flip hang. Falling too far can really hurt. If you crawl, you do a flip hang, which can save you a heart. Now, watch. This size of a ledge is the minimum of what you can get hurt by. Boink. Now, if we would have flipped hanged, we would have gained an extra square of distance and wouldn't have gotten hurt. Duck and press X to pick up items. Press X to throw or use items. Hold up to throw high and down the drop. Die, devil bird! Press A to select your rope and X to use it. You see that bomb symbol up there? That's the amount of bombs we have. Next to zero. And the rope? Next to two. And the money, of course, is next to the dollar bill. Oh, money, I wish I could get you. But I already have you. Which is good. Wish I had that in real life. Good God. Crouch and press X to throw a rope down a ledge. We don't need to do that, really, for this ledge. To run, hold down while hold down while walking or just press shift. Yeah, I just took off the hold down to run thing because sometimes when you're crawling over the edge, uh, sometimes they'll register that or not. If you hold shift while running, d while holding down and run, you'll automatically run this time and not actually get crossed between two. If you, hold, if you let go of shift and you will then crawl. But, open this crate for a bag of bombs. Ooh. Press C to suck bombs and press X to use them. Okay. So we go to our bombs and press X and use them. We'll just wait, wait, that's a bomb. Oh my god! 
yes, you can kill yourself extremely easy in this game. They're not kidding. Bombs will just pretty much instantly kill you. There's a lot more head. Use your wits and beware traps. Well, that's pretty much it for tutorial. Um, as you can see, that's time two times. The one on the left is the time that we took to complete the stage, and the right is the time that we completed everything in total, such as if I completed three stages, it will tally up the times that I took on all of those three stages. Loot, it count pretty much is the sprite sprites of all um, the pieces of, you know, money <laughs> that I collected. Uh, kills uh, is also the number of sprites of monsters that I killed. Uh, money uh, on the left is like the time before, the one I collected on the stage, and the right is how many I accumulated over, you know, on the rest of the stages. Um, the ones on the right will be tallied up to your high score. Uh, kills will also tally up to your high score. Um, there is a very specific use for these high scores, hint, hint. So let's begin with our level 1. All the levels in Spelunky are randomly generated. So when I begin level 1 again, you will see very few things familiar, but hardly anything new. Oh, I just luckily punted his head open. Okay, um, spikes, you can actually do that sometimes, just regularly jump and you won't get impaled, <laughs> like I did in the first beginning of the video. Um, but the cool thing is you can walk right by them, like in some games you'll just get hurt. Um, pots can be thrown and whipped to open up tr uh, treasure of all sizes. I think that was the most. Uh, I know that they can also come with a little piece of nugget gold for, you know, more money. I mean, what's wrong with money, man? Uh, but they also can have what's a very nasty surprise, a trap. And that will consist either of a snake or worse, a spider. And spiders are very erratic jumping menaces around this bloody game. Um, devil birds, I, I mean uh, bats, like that, will come after you if you approach them at a certain angle. Um, you can actually don't disturb them um, if you like come out of a ledge that's r right to the right or the left of them and walk up, well not walk up, you can also run at them. Um, oh, by the way, that's an arrow trap. These take down two hearts. As you can see, we have four hearts, meaning we can't take too much hits. Oh, and there's the damsel in distress. Come here. Uh, damsels in distresses, uh, you have to guide at the end of the level. And if you do that, you gain yourself an extra HP. Um, the cool thing is, uh, damsels run on their own. So if you wanted to, you can make them run to the way that you wanted to. Oh, undead. Boink. Uh, bad thing is though is that they might like impale themselves like ah oh, I can't take it you make me survive in a cave ah oh, star um those things are probably gonna hurt me a lot but I want that treasure chest uh, another cool thing is that she can survive any type of fall no matter what lady it's time to make yourself useful well lady La lady there you go Pull your weight for a once around here, man. I'm walking you everywhere. Oh, 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 shoo. I thought I was about to fall into that. Um, oh, there's the exit already. See? That pot was just trapped. Ah, boom. And she's still conscious. If you see a star around, like a sprite like that, there's conscience. You'll see a couple things that are still conscious, meaning they require more hits to fully kill. Um, pretty much. No! Ah! Uh, damn. Yeah, 2 HP gone, because the X button won't impress. This game doesn't know what the X button is, then I don't know what. And this is level 1 done. And I'll get that lost HP back. My hero. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not Elvis. Okay, so that's level 1 done, and I think I'm going to cut it right here, folks. So, I hope you see you in the next time. I'll be waiting for you.